This is the EcoSport S. Now, as you can see, it's got some fairly interesting cosmetic detailing. But the reason why we're driving the EcoSport again is here under the hood. Yes, that is a one liter EcoBoost petrol engine and it's back. And this time it's made it to a six speed manual. So let's take a quick look around and head out for a quick spin. So on the outside, the bits are all the same, but they've been rather jazzed up. The grille is finished in full black, as are the headlight bezels, the roof and the roof rails too. The other new features are the headlights, which are now HID units and really striking looking 17 inch all black alloys. The black theme carries on inside too with burnt orange highlights all through the cabin and that really gives it a nice and sporty look. So please if you get one, don't cover them in seat covers. The most loved feature though will be the electrically operated sunroof. The driver MID display is now a nice graphical LCD screen while the rest is the same as you would find on the Titanium Plus version. 8 inch touchscreen and all. Ford are offering the S version with both a petrol and a diesel engine. With the diesel, it's the same 1.5 litre unit from the rest of the lineup, while on the petrol, you get the 1 litre EcoBoost engine. Featuring direct injection, turbocharging, and variable valve timing, the engine puts out 125 horsepower and 170 Newton meters of torque. That may be only 2 horsepower over the 1.5 litre Dragon petrol from the lower variants, but it has quite a different driving character. So how does it feel like from behind the wheel? Well, in the old car, the EcoBoost had a fairly weak low end and the mid-range and top end was where its power came in. That is pretty much the same Ford haven't really retuned the engine. They have, however, strapped it with a six-speed gearbox and that has changed the delivery characteristic just a little bit. Power comes in, in fact, about 200 or 300 RPM earlier. Uh, so around the 1,400 RPM mark is where you'll find a slight change in pace. And then, of course, as you get past 2,200 RPM, there's a more rapid build-up. Put your foot down like this and there's a very quick change in pace so overtaking is smooth and easy and the power keeps building on all the way and doesn't really taper off as you go higher in speed. So is there a downside to this engine? Well yes there is and that's the sound level. At higher RPMs it sounds a bit too harsh and coarse. The best part of this engine though is its torque nature. You could be maybe at around 60 km per hour in fourth gear, drop it down all the way to around 25 and there just won't be any of that juddering or shudders that you would normally expect from an engine. It will just motor along smoothly and then of course slowly pick itself up uh, as you accelerate more. Now as far as the rest of the driving experience goes, uh, well, Ford say they haven't altered anything as far as the steering or the suspension. So it's pretty much the same as the other standard EcoSports, which means, well, they're fun to drive. So that's the EcoSport S. Now, it is about 85,000 rupees over a titanium plus, both for the petrol and the diesel. But you do get features like a high intensity discharge headlamps and of course, India's favorite, the sunroof. Plus, if you opt for the petrol, you will get the 1 litre EcoBoost coupled to a 6 speed manual transmission, which is pretty fun to drive. So, on the whole, the EcoSport's fun to drive character has inched forward a little bit ahead. <laughs>